Good morning. It is Christmas Eve here in Scotland and it is blowing a gale outside, the result of the latest round of solar activity, a little geomagnetic storm kicking off, which personally I actually love. <laughs> it's like the quickening, which brings me to the point I wanted to make today, which is in relation to the North Node in Aries and the Highlander. I don't I don't get my tattoos out very often, but <laughs> I don't know if you can see on my arm there. There can be only one with the infinity symbol. And that, for those who are familiar, is a quote from the Highlander. Now, if that's the thing I love about films. It's there are many people who will be very aware that there has been a great deal of resistance, especially in the last few years, towards those who wish to speak truth. And one of the great functions of art, of all kinds, but especially with films, is to communicate truth in a way that kind of goes under the radar, is not so obvious that it attracts that resistance, but subtle enough that <laughs> it gets passed in the hope that the masses will be <laughs> too switched off in debate to actually put together the pieces and decipher the message within it. Now, the Highlander, if, I'm, if I may indulge myself for a little minute, to unpack the story behind the Highlander. Now in the original it's Connor and it's a little bit cheeky what they did there but Duncan ended up being the one at the end and the reason he was the one to win the prize was his purity of heart. The same reason that King Arthur was able to draw Excalibur from the stone. The same reason that I am the guardian of the dragon line because I was able to connect to the heart of Gaia from a space of purity of heart and empathy with the sentient being, which is Gaia herself. And ultimately he won that prize because at the end, when he was confronted with the guardian, the most powerful, formidable sort of force that he'd encountered to that point. He refused to take the Guardian's head. He refused to continue that cycle and perpetuate the notion that he had to kill his own kind to be exactly who he is. And I'm also just kind of <laughs> downloaded with the sort of similarity there as to his saying was in Connor before him, but for Duncan it was, I am Duncan MacLeod of the Clan MacLeod. And I believe it goes on to say who I am is who I was. And we are in the North Node in Aries at the moment. So the entire universe is supporting each and every one of us to stand in our authenticity and our truth. And so I have no doubt that those who have invested a significant amount of time and energy in trying to assume the identity of others or be anything other than the truest expression of their own unique divine blueprint are experiencing a high level of challenges at the moment. But we still have I think about a year in North Northern Aries. So it's never too late to begin that journey. It's never too late to get to the core of who you are and unpack the expression that is you. Because if we do anything other than find that gift within each of us that is our unique soul expression, then we've completely missed the point of life and the experience of incarnating in the first place. And Yes, I think that was pretty much all I wanted to say on that front. It is Christmas Eve, so <laughs> now that I've said my little bit about the Highlander, about the importance of purity of heart, and it is a recurrent theme in many cultures and many legends, 
we have my art and the scales which balance the human heart and which must be as light as a feather to pass through. I don't actually know where it is, <laughs> but I know your heart must be as light as a feather. I know that Duncan MacLeod went on to win the prize when the planets aligned because of his purity of heart. I know that King Arthur drew the sword from the stone because of his purity of heart. And I know that I am the guardian of the dragon line because of my purity of heart. And I will leave it there. Well, in fact, no, I won't leave it there. It's <laughs> originally Christmas was a sort of pagan celebration of the rebirth of the sun god and Saturnalia and whatnot. But if we are to kind of now in modern times, we celebrate it as Jesus's birthday. And the research which I followed actually suggests that given the description of the North Star that and the position on the map at that time that the North Star would not have been visible from Bethlehem and it must have been, so Jesus must have been born around October and I cannot say <laughs> what the correct version is, but I can say that Jesus' gift to the world and what he taught was about purity of heart, of our connection to source, of being an alignment, of being living in integrity and flow with universal balance. And I think that is a very important and poignant message to enter this festive season with, to come back to that space and just each of us embody that purity of heart and that connection to source, which is there to be experienced, even if we inevitably find ourselves in phases of darkness, when we must navigate the dark night of the soul and the fog around us to find our way back to the light. If we stay true to the I am presence and our purity of heart, following that North Node home, then we will always find a way.